The family looked everywhere and tonight a happy reunion between a child and well something very important to him. Fox 6's Suzanne Spencer is live with a story that'll make you smile. Hey Mary, yeah, I think we can all use a little bit more of whatever makes us smile. For a one year old boy, that is his monkey. And when he lost it, the community here in Shorewood knew they wanted to bring that smile back. Maverick looked everywhere. He's very much like exploring everything. At one year old, he needed some help. Then this morning, I wake up and my son, um, which he usually has a stuffed animal monkey that he's like obsessed with, it like wasn't with him. Glendale mom Janelle last remembered it at dinner in Shorewood. She quickly posted on Facebook group Kids Cycle with a photo to help find Maverick's missing friend. I just happened to see a desperate plea to find a, a little kid's monkey. Miles away, this Whitefish Bay mom of two saw that post. And I live relatively close to there, so I thought I could spare 10 minutes to drive over and try to find it. And that she did. I stopped right on the corner and just kind of crept up, and the monkey happened to be um, just sitting on top of a snowbank. A monkey lost and found who missed his friend. He was just laying there, staring up, um, a little helpless, probably very cold, a little bit covered in a layer of ice. With a quick Facebook message back. Immediately when I got the monkey back, I, read, um, I wanted to make sure that like it was strapped in, like I didn't want to let it out of my sight again. A curious monkey back in those arms. Just seeing him, he was, yeah, he was so happy. So it made me happy. There's no monkey in around for this monkey who is right back where he belongs. Both women are crediting that Facebook group Kids Cycle with providing a platform and really a positive platform at that to making all of this happen. They, you know, undoubtedly, though, you got to have a will and a way to be willing to make this happen. And they there are undoubtedly a lot of hands to thank for making all of this come to fruition. Reporting live in Shorewood, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. <laughs> we all know how important those animals are. Those stuffed animals, they last forever. All right, Suzanne, thank you. I still have mine. I know you have yours. Somewhere I'm due, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Sure. As the Brewers start up spring training,